in, in talking with the composer John Corigliano, he explained that the Chacon is a, re a repeated chord progression. And in this case, it's, it's seven notes. makes a chromatic scale. So he introduces the violin and uh, the orchestra won't even have played a note yet. I come in from out of nowhere with the first chord of the Chaconne. And then the strings come in, so I'll demonstrate how it flows. And then the next set of chords moving up in the pattern. And there's a tremendous build up until we get to the next part that Stephen will tell you about. atmospheric way after these two notes are sounded and then shift up just slightly to the next two notes the woodwinds begin playing patterns that are uh, versions of this seven note collection but it's fascinating that in the score they don't play at the same time they're indicated to play patterns but beginning after one another and then just a bit later the strings do the same thing so when you see this in performance which I'm sure all of you are going to be there Saturday when you see that, you'll see the first stand of violins starting to play something, and then every stand behind begins to join in until they finish the pattern. It creates this remarkable and haunting effect for the orchestra, which sets up one of the most beautiful themes of a 20th century concerto that I know. Uh, Corigliano wrote this theme, and it's fascinating. You described this so well, I wonder if you could uh, share with us this beautiful theme that follows all this atmospheric, ethereal introduction uh, for the violin. Well, as Stephen is saying, it's to be a great melody writer, what is better than that? And we had Tchaikovsky, we have John Williams, our Academy Award winning film composer. Corigliano created a melody um, that is arguably the, one of the greatest composed in the last hundred years. And the, the Chacon theme is actually underlying the melody. It's amazing. But you'll recognize it in the movie. Uh, it's called Honest Theme. And it is the, the um, violin maker's wife humming this theme to her unborn child. 